get fucking wrecked. Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and in today's video I'd like to answer one of those questions that you constantly keep asking me during the stream, and that is uh, from my standard Battlefield 1 community. Is Battlefield 2042 now worth playing? And uh, for the most part I kinda... I have been a little bit hesitant to answer this question, and uh, even though I myself think that it really is, which is why I'm playing it, I know that the Battlefield 1 players, generally speaking, are rather conservative, and they are not very easily persuaded to move to another game. Now, one of the reasons why we play any Battlefield game is because of these moments that almost exclusively happens in the Battlefield franchise. Now, with the specialists that you have in Battlefield 2042, which was rather controversial when they came, and maybe they still are, each specific specialist has the possibility or the potential to create these epic moments that are very unique to that specific specialist. And, uh, well, obviously, it's up to you as the player to make that happen. Me, I have, for the most part, been focusing on McKay, and secondary for me normally is Boris, but I will make a list video and a pike video ever so soon, just need to get the material for it. <laughs> Did I just kill three guys there? I was gonna go for that healthy though, but uh, that one went down. Now, what I've done with this lot of the recon jeep is that I've put the AA rocket or the AA uh, cannon on it because I think it's not all that good for much else than actually flanking and sometimes you really need to flank to be able to take out one of those pesky helis. For the most part though, if I ever get any kills with this vehicle, it's normally no. road kills and that's quite a lot of fun actually. So now, obviously, a lot of people are asking me about jet gameplay and also heli gameplay. Now, the jet gameplay is something that I haven't really got into. Generally speaking, when I'm streaming, I spawn like maybe two or three, sometimes five jets in a full stream. So this doesn't happen all that much. And whenever I do, I rarely stay alive longer than like a couple of minutes. Now, in the rare cases that I do stay alive for as long as maybe a full round, yeah. I have a hard time getting more than like, I don't know, 8 to 10 kills. But I have a very, very recently unlocked the rocket pods. So far, I only got one kill with it, and that's what you're going to see here. My first and so far only kill with the rocket pods. Uh, but uh, depending on, of course, the team you're in, and maybe I'll, I just need to get some experience, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do this a bit more if this is something that you would like to see. I'm also trying to get my settings for the Nightbird, that little mini heli that some people can go like a hundred kills in a round with. Um, uh, the funny thing about it is that uh, as of now, when I'm making this video, the little bird or the night bird is not susceptible to damage from infantry fire, but that is going to change in the update 6.0.1, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, that uh, update is coming about a week after this video is being released. So, when I finally start practicing a little bit with the heli, that's when it's going to receive a nerf. And it, it's also getting nerfed like the one of the main guns, or the main gun I think it is, is going to be nerfed also, its range is going to be reduced. Now, in Battlefield 2042, you can have three mines out at a maximum. You s if you drop a force, then the first one will despawn. I've tested this. On the other hand, though, the way you drop these mines is very different from the way you do it in Battlefield 1. But the satisfaction of blowing up tanks and, well, whatever other we vehicles is basically the same. Now, another thing that I'm trying to get into is, of course, ground vehicles, tanks and so on. This one is the Bolt. It used to be absolutely crazy way back when. I have now equipped this one with an anti-vehicle gun, which is kind of slow fire rate and it's... Uh, I'm, I'm really unused to it here. Um, it's sometimes hard to see uh, tanks and stuff through the smoke and all that stuff, but... Uh, what I also have on this bolt is instead of any kind of repair system, I have the mines, the anti-vehicle mines, that is, you can have mines for infantry also, but I haven't really tested that out. 
Now, this is my anti-vehicle build so far. I'm hoping to do some teamwork gameplay with this in the near future. That is, of course, when I get my sleeping schedule in a more normal rhythm. So here I'm just seat switching between the gun and the driver's seat and bang, that's a quad right there. So I hope you will check out the stream on my main channel. I'll be streaming this game regularly from now on and uh, we'll see if and when I go back to doing some Battlefield 1 gameplay again. I know some people have been asking about it. Big thanks for watching everyone. This is Matthias. Peace out. Ha ha ha! Did you see me dropping those mines? <laughs> Oh, that's not where I wanted to do. No, 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 no. Uh, that's that was not my plan. That was not my plan. I mean, I planned this the whole time because I'm such a I'm such a experienced battle control. Of course, I planned this, guys. It's all part of my evil genius master plan. That's how you that's how you flank guys. Tutorial incoming. F flanking tutorial, guys. <laughs> the flank is real. What happened there? Explain to me! 